Yes, welcome back, my people. I'm still your humble servant, your brother, Evangelist B from the Republic of Ireland. This is the part two of this video concerning the call of our brother, Okechuku Joseph, who are calling for unity and for reconciliation for us to march forward which I have narrated in the first video. I make references to the call for Osu abolition ceremonies, which we have done. And um, he mentioned about employing 25 lawyers to arrest and to prosecute those who call somebody Osu and the unity that he called and saying that Every group in Biafra land have their own problem. IPOB also, he said IPOB have their own fault. And for this reason, we are going to be united. I want to make my, my stand very clear. Before God and before man, unity is very important. But I want you to know that uh, uh, before you make proposal for unity, there must be willingness from the people that have defaulted before. I mean, people have instigated even a kind of uh, a, a situation that would have been a, so detrimental to other group that there would have been by now annihilation. Because Ohane Zendibo uh, calling for pro prosecution of the IPOB would have been a total disaster to Igbo and the Biafra entirely if the world have accepted for us that we are what terrorists. It would have given license to the Fulani, the one they are waging this war now and, and being restricted because of the things uh, about the international community they wouldn't they would have been going into Biafra land to kill without impunity with impunity I mean without nobody questioning them now my stand is that there is need and it is good for us to unite but that unity uh, we I will not support any unity that is so quick I will not support any unity that I don't see any traces of effort made for the unity. I don't support any unity that somebody will just come and tell us that God told him from heaven, that he prayed and God, the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost came down and told him that we must be united. So the issue of Usu is not a problem again, but it's unity right now. I don't support that quick. Do you understand what I mean? Quick decision of that unity. Because why? When you take an egg that is rotten and put it in the midst of the egg that are good, it's going to contaminate the other eggs. When you take yam, when, when you are staking yams in your barn and you put the yam that is rotten together, touched together, body to body, to the, to the yams that are rotten with the good ones, it's going to affect, the rottenness will affect the other yams in that barn. Before you know it, before the next farm season, the whole yams will be rotten. Now, I talk about verification, verificationism. is a concept in, in what? In the philosophy of science. To verify something, to be able to obtain the guarantee and have the traces that support that this thing, it is the way we say is going to be. Ahane Zendibo went the other day right in the Facebook that they have found their fault, they have realized their fault, they have realized their mistake. And uh, Asari Dokubo came out and began to talk good of Biafra. From one side of his mouth, he would talk different thing and with this mouth he would talk different thing. Now, Kechuku, our brother Kechuku saw this message and immediately began to call for unity. For the concept of verificationism, they will not agree with you. That philosophical science. I'm telling you how you can be able to verify authenticity of sin. Uh, verification is used to determine falsehood into something and the facts into something. The reason why we use 
uh, you know, uh, science believe in few principles like touch, visible, analyze, proof, test before you can get a fact. Now, Nyangodo or Ohane Zendibo just sent two messages post in Facebook. Our brother capture it and, and begin to call for unity. This is not the way for us to know that these people just because he says something. When you go for employment, they will use your they will check your record from the past 10 years. You will put the the address and the numbers of the areas where you have lived in that society to be able to do what? To find the truth. Whether you they follow your trend to find out whether you are genuine, you have committed crime, if you have committed crime, how long has it been? Have you committed another offense since then you've committed the, the other previous sign uh, of offenses before they can assign you to any sensible employment, any important employment on a sensible positions or department in a in a company. Now what I'm saying is that now it's too early for Okechuku to just conclude and say that everybody begin to equate IPOB with these guys and to compare them. This is what makes me mad when I was watching this video. Now, what stopped Nyangwood when he found out that he has made mistake? Calling Mazen Nandekano and say, my brother, can we meet with your people? We, I have made mistake and I realized my mistake, but I want us just to talk. I just want us to talk. I just want us to talk. And they call that meeting. When they finish that meeting, we find out the outcome of that meeting. If that meeting is genuine, if they find the a genuine evidence that there is changes, I know that Nandekano will not refuse for unity for this peace. That is the step to take. It's not you, Okechuku, that will come and say, calling everybody, come and unite. Let me tell you, Okechuku, I emphatically, I want to tell you the truth before God and before man. Um, you have the Spirit of God in you, the way you pray, but there are things you don't understand. You don't understand how things work. You are not a science man. You don't understand psychology of men. You don't understand it. You don't know it. I have studied it myself. You don't just jump into because somebody says on the, this is the reason why the Africans are, are in, in danger. This is the reason why Africans are suffering today. The pastor will come and use oral sugar coated tongue and talk bullshit and they will accept them. And the pastor will be doing impunity in the church and nobody's questioning the pastor. This is the reason why the, 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 the senators, the representatives, the leads are using them. The politicians are using us because they tell lies. And we take the lies without verifying the facts to know what changes has this man. What, ha what changes has he gotten that makes him to be a genuine person, that trustworthy person. This is something that takes years to test somebody. It's not something that you conclude in a twinkle of an eye. The other day, just few few months, one month, two months ago now, that they just realized their fault and you are calling for unity. Ohane Zendibo, who started to proscribe these people, us, as terrorists, came and told us that we should go and defend ourselves. Is it not madness, Okechuku? Did he taught you any lesson for you to understand that there is something wrong with this man? Why did not Ohanez and Ibo map a plan to set up organization that will fight these people? Because he he I I I follow him in the Facebook. He said that if he fell the conference or the negotiation with them fell, that is going to He's going to support Biafra. He's going to carry the Biafran course in his head. Let him not join Biafran course, but let him go and use that organization that is representing the Igbos to set up a group, militant group or vigilant group or local hunter group to defend Igbo land. No need to call for unity. First of all, 
It is when we see Ohanes and Dibona doing what is necessary, doing what is important, producing security in Ibo land, investing time to secure the Ibo land. You don't need to tell anybody to call or to reconcile with Ohanes and Dibo. We are not animals. So therefore, like in Lower Niger, Lower Niger have never called for any meeting to invite Nandi Kano for us to come and unite. And they, their own campaign is different. In conclusion, I don't want to talk because if we debate this thing, this thing needed something like a um, life chart so that people will be calling and adding their opinion and we will be discussing something that will take up to one hour or two hours to chat and to discuss. It's an important issue. I just want to make it clear that I am not an objection to peace or unity of these groups. But I object sudden call for unity. There is a call made the other time for in Ghana. One of our brother made this call and said that there is unity of purpose, unity of purpose. I hope them to campaign. I paid even money to transport some people who are going for the meeting. The same brother, after going to the meeting, came back and rebelled IPOB and Mazen Nanaka, our leader, that he was the one who killed the who killed Professor Mwankwa. This man is in is a doctor in the United Kingdom. The same person that are calling for unity are the same person that are pouring fuel now, putting fire to see the type of human beings that you are dealing with. It. To see the type of danger, venoms, snake with the dangerous venoms that we are dealing with. My brother Kechuku, I will advise disease from what you are doing. But if you say that God lead you to do this, remember I said before that Usu is not our problem. I am saying right now again, uniting together this moment without seeing the traces of changes human character changing, attitude changing. There is nothing like unity. And I am not accepting the unity. So therefore, I am not trying to be an obstacle to the unity, but I'm trying to make sense with logic to use the concept of verificationism according to philosophical science to be able to checkmate those that we want to unite with if they are ready for the unity. That is my own perception. That is my own reason as a man. This is your brother, Evangelist B. Please, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I will encourage you to subscribe in this very video that you are watching right now because I have new YouTube channel. I have lost you. Don't think that you are with me in YouTube channel. You don't have. This is called BC Radio 1 News, where we will be having live chat and it's coming eminently because I never knew that I couldn't do those things in the private one that I have. Remember blessed and keep on watching. God bless you. We must get Biafra and salvation as well, my friends, is very important. If you have not accepted Christ, salvation is very important. See you in the next episode. God bless you.